Shalom, saints of the Most High. Today is October the 16th, 2024. Uh, priests, I have a very important word. I please ask you humbly, please stay tuned to the whole video, the entire video. Um, but also, please, please share it. This is for the body of Christ, the saints of the Most High who are observing the Holy Feast Days. Father has brought something very important to me. And so I'm going to go over this as best as I can, as thoroughly as I can, and as quickly as I can. Okay, there is a reason I'm showing you this image right now. So I'm going to get started with the key of David and by the sound of my voice. Heavenly Father, I call upon your warring angels to protect this video, the content of this video, Father. May the transmission of this video go out throughout the land, Heavenly Father, for your children, the saints of the Most High, to receive this word, this timely word, Heavenly Father. Also, Heavenly Father, I call upon your warring angels to protect us over this communication, setting the cloak of invisibility over this communication, over our minds, our bodies, spirits, hearts, and holy Yeshua's name and blood. I give you all of the glory, Father, all of you, none of me, uh, holy Yeshua, our Mashiach, and the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, Aman. Okay, priests, so I'm going to go over this here as thoroughly, uh, yet quickly as possible. You may have to play this back. It's going to be crucial that you write things down. You can also um, uh, print your screen, okay? Take a screenshot of these dates so that you're in alignment with this. Now, some of you have come on and now you're starting to follow the feast. Father has confirmed this for you. And so I'm just gonna go over this right now of the hour in which we're in, okay? We're gonna review a little bit also that's very pertinent to this word, okay? Very, very important word today. Please, again, I can't stress enough that you stay tuned as Father gives revelation in the midst of um, prophesying. So please stay tuned, please share, and please just stay tuned to the entire message. I cannot emphasize this more because of the hour in which we're in. Okay, so being that today is October the 16th, 2024, the first day of Sukkot, which many call it Sukkah, which is a tabernacle, okay? It's a tent. We are the tabernacles. The first day of Sukkot is, uh, is observed sunset October 17th, through October 18th, 2024, okay? The last day of Sukkot is called Shemini Asoret. It is on the eighth day, and it is celebrated and honored, observed, um, sunset October 24th through sunset October 25th, 24. This will make a little bit more sense when I provide you the calendar. Compliments of Adam with... Um, um, Oh, please, uh, please help me, Father, with the name, um, the vineyard. Oh my gosh, what is it? I'll come up with the, his name. I apologize, guys. I blanked out. Um, Prophecy of the vineyard. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. Prophecy of the vineyard. Um, he has a Father has aligned us to um, commemorate these feast days uh, according to what we have researched and what Brother Adam has um, gen generously. Uh, not only taking the time to um, review this by the Stellarium calendar, but um, the Stellarium rather, um, but this is very, very important. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this going. I apologize. Okay, so first things first, we want to recap here in 2024. We know of the sign of Jonah, undeniable. We know of that X marks the spot. We know what that is a prelude to, okay? All right. So the Feast of Trumpets here recently, we celebrated, okay? And we witnessed on that day a solar eclipse and the ring of fire, okay? Very, very important. I'm breaking these down for you so you can see what the Holy Spirit is pointing out here, okay? So again, this year, Feast of Trumpets 2024, we witnessed a solar eclipse and a ring of fire, right? And I want to say that, let me go back to the date on that. I want to be thorough here. Um, yes. Um, sunset, October 3rd to sunset, October 4th, we celebrated the Feast of Trumpets. Okay. 
let's go back here. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to have to go through this slowly so that you really, it, it sticks with you so that it really resonates in your spirit. What father's pointing out here. Okay. Now keep in mind the tetrad, uh, image that I started with. Okay. It's very, very important. So we witnessed a solar eclipse and a ring of fire on the feast of trumpets on a holy feast day this year. Also October 12th through the 13th sunset to sunset, the feast of Yom Kippur, the day of atonement, when we are to afflict ourselves, right? We're supposed to reflect, repent, forgive. The holiest of holies is what it's called. Falls during the sign of Libra, which I, I just made a video about that. And I will include it in, I will include that link in the description, in the comments. So it fall, it fell on the sign of Libra and it's still continuance. It's still in continuance until I believe it's the 25th, but let me, let me get back to this. The sign, which we are to watch for these signs of Libra, which signifies the scales of justice. Recently we did a, um, a video also of Archangel Michael, which he holds the scales of justice. So you can see the pattern here, everybody. Now the words that father had granted were the scales of justice. He has, he has, um, spoken these words to several of us to edify for one another. Okay. My beautiful sister, Queen Esther, uh, she put forth a word. It totally went over my head, the, the image on the thumbnail, as I explained in the last video, but it was absolutely a confirmation of what father had said. So, um, now what this is a prelude, what this indicates in this particular uh, one, the day of atonement is for us to afflict ourselves so that we can repent so that there, there is revival, but indeed, um, judgment starts in the house of God first. We know this, this is, this is written, right? All right. Give me just a second here. We're just going to go over that very quickly. I'm going to jump around a little bit. Um, priests. So first Peter chapter four, verse 17, father keeps giving me 17, emphasizing 17 victory and other prophecies that have, that he has spoken to me on the 17th, that they were very, um, important to the 17th of the day. For the time is come that judgment must begin judgment, not wrath judgment, because there needs to be revival must begin at the house of God. Okay. Now let me go back here. Okay. Now we also have coming up. This is what I have received thus far. Okay. So whether father gives me something from October through March the 14th of 2025, that remains to be seen. This is what he has given me so far to include in the great Mazara series that he has commissioned me to speak over the body of Christ so that we can watch for these signs. Because what has he been saying? To look up, to literally look up because our redemption draweth nigh. Okay. Now again, we also have the coming red blood moon, its appearance. It will rear its head March 14th, 2025, which is over Purim. Again, you see a pattern here, right? Father is showing us this pattern. And I'm, I may be repetitive for you to understand, for you to discern what he's revealing here, okay? So now I will touch on that sign in here in just a moment and at the end, and I'll include the link for uh, that particular word and how it is a prelude to the three days of darkness, okay? But with comes with darkness, also written in Isaiah chapter 60, verse uh, one through three, what do we have to look forward to during that gross darkness and the darkness over the people, the glory of the Lord will arise in us. People will come to our light. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. Father will show up. Okay. So now again, to reiterate this morning, father, Ahaya has called my attention that what we are witnessing in this hour is a similar pattern a similar blueprint, thus saith Father Ahaya right now. This is the word that he has given me, blueprint. In this hour is a similar blueprint, a pattern, but more prevalent to the hour in which we're in, because these were from 2014 to 2015, the blood moon tetrad that I'm showing you here on the screen. Okay. He is 
reflecting upon that set of blood moon tetrads and he's fashioning it to the hour in which we're in. He's doing that for a reason, okay? Because the hour is here. All right. Now, also here recently, October 17th through the 18th, sunset to sunset was the feast of Sukkot, okay? Um, or excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm ahead of myself. Um, no, this is a, a prelude to it. This is the video that I did um, to call attention to this so that you could observe it. I do apologize. So this is, t this is basically at sunset um, 10, 17, October 17th to sunset 10, 18. Please forgive me. I got ahead of myself. Um, this is the Feast of Sukkot. Okay. The Feast of Tabernacles is also what it's known as. And it coincides with the hunter's moon, Orion. Orion is also known as the hunter. Okay. So I just did a video about this as well. I can include it in the links as well at the end of the, the video. Okay. The hunter's moon, just briefly, the hunter's moon will be the first full moon of autumn when it rises on October 17th. This is what we have an expectation to see, to look up and see. It will also be the third and closest super moon of the year. Please pay attention to detail. It will also be the third. So that means there's been two previous and closest super moon of the year. October's hunter's moon, the third super moon of 2024 will rise later this week at dusk and at set and set rather at dawn. I will also include the details of that, of that video so that you have it. So you can watch these in succession. And again, if you have not, I am being told by Father Ahaya, I'm being instructed by Father Ahaya. For those of you just coming into this word today, please take a look at the um, Great Maseraz series, the playlist. I will have that also for you linked in the comments. It's very, very important so that you see for yourself, you're witnessing these transpire. Father is granting us the mana, granting us the signs ahead of time, and they are absolutely manifesting. Okay. In particular, starting with the sign of Jonah, I was given words to speak about X marks the spot six months prior to that sign appearing and X really did mark the spot. We all witnessed that, right? Okay. And I give father high all the glory. All right. So pertaining to tabernacles, um, what's at hand, the feast that is at hand, we're on the, on the precipice of it. It's uh, again, sunset, October 17th to sunset October 18th. Uh, if you are called to fast in that day, you can do a juice fast. You do what father instructs of you, but it is, it is, um, he gave me the words this morning that we are to afflict ourselves. Anything remaining in our hearts, any remaining ailments. I will also include that video. Many years ago, father told me that we could not have any remaining elements in our hearts. So that re that not only remains reflection, it means repentance and it means forgiveness. Our father will not forgive our transgressions if we do not forgive others, priests. It is written. So please um, just do a heart to heart with yourself there in prayer and through fasting uh, over this day. Okay, so I'm going to go over a couple of images here for you to reflect on. Uh, in Revelation chapter 21, verses three to four. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is within. The kingdom is within. The tabernacle of God is within men. And he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. Now this seems to, if you read this over again, this seems to um, reflect upon those who woke up a little bit later and accepted these, the fact that father says his tabernacle is within us. The kingdom is within us. Please read this again on your own so that you understand the entire scope of the message. Now a beautiful, uh, uh, priestess and queen, Queen Sophia Rose. She provided this, I believe, last year for us. And um, it quite well be something that she'll be sharing again with us in, in an updated um, edition. So um, you can read this also, but basically I just want to reflect on a little bit that Holy Yeshaya absolutely is in the tabernacles because he resides in us. Okay. 
And Jesus gave us a promise at Tabernacles on the Feast of Sukkot. Okay, so in John chapter 7, verse 37, 38, on the last day of the feast, Shemini Azaret, the eighth day of this series of the Sukkot, okay, because it is in, in its fullness, it's eight days. On the last day of the feast, Jesus said in a loud voice, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He's giving you a last call. If you, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, streams of living water will flow from his innermost being. Selah. Please take a look at the rest of this here, please, for information, vital information that you need to have, um, saints of the Most High, celebrating the Holy Feast Days. So this is the calendar that uh, Adam, with Parable of the Vineyard, has shared. Um, he has shared these generously over the years since Father, um, I, I know for us, it's been since Father had instructed us to start observing these and familiarizing ourselves with these, that these would come into play, and they certainly have. We give him all of the glory. So you can take a look at that, and you can take a um, screenshot of that as well. And then I'll also share the link of Queen Sophia's video, which is very thorough. It's amazing. So please um, take a look at that at the end of the uh, recording. Uh, also to cover um, the current feast day that's upon us, uh, Sukkot, Feast of Tabernacles. In Deuteronomy, uh, we read in chapter 16, verse 15, For seven days you shall celebrate a feast to the Lord your God in the place he will choose, because the Lord your God will bless you in all your produce and in all the work of your hands so, so that your joy will be complete. What has he been giving us? The number seven full circle, finality, completion. Let's read that last sentence. Or I'm going to read it again, actually. For seven days you shall celebrate a feast to the Lord your God in the place he will choose, because the Lord your God will bless you in all your produce, in all your fruit. It, you're finally going to see the results of your fruit. And in all the work of your hands, so that your joy will be complete. Okay, let's move on here. We also see... Um, Holy Ashaya again in the tabernacles and uh, in John chapter 1 verse 14 just to re-emphasize and, and really focus in on this, what this is saying. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Many in the body of Christ do not know and it's not because they don't know, they've just sort of overlooked it. They've not, it hasn't clicked the kingdom is within us. You don't need to be looking outwardly because you won't find it. It's within us. Again, John chapter 1, verse 14. The word, who is holy Yeshaya, became flesh and made his dwelling among us, within us. The kingdom is within, and he commands us in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But ye first seek the kingdom... First, seek the kingdom. Where's the kingdom? The kingdom is within. And then all righteousness will be added to you. Please hear those words. Very, very important. Also, for, in celebration for the Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot, you can do this at your leisure while you're celebrating the Feast of um, Tabernacles, the Feast of Sukkot, um, which is written in Leviticus chapter 23, verses 33 through 44. I'm not going to go through that, but you can read it. Again, it's titled the Feast of Tabernacles. So if you haven't started celebrating the, the um, Tabernacles, you certainly do want to. All right, and then as I said earlier, touching on the blood moon, that coming blood moon um, is over Purim. It is on Purim, March 14th, 2025. So you can see all of these feasts that I've mentioned, they have a prelude, okay? They're an omen foretelling what is to come. That, that is what a sign is. A sign isn't, just you're seeing at that time in, in that moment, it tells a story. It foretells what is coming. Okay? So we have the blood moon, March 14th, 2025, also falling on the Feast of Purim. 
I'm only going to read a, uh, the first one here to not take any more time. Um, the red blood moon, we know what is written in the word, and we know that darkness comes, right? But again, we are not to fear, okay? We are to be of a sound mind and of love, okay, and of support. As Father said long ago, he said, you must be strength for the weak. Why? Because we're cemented and we're grounded in the word. We know the word, so we don't have to fear, right? We're going to be strength for the weak. In Joel chapter 2, verse 31, speaking of the days of darkness, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. March 14th, 2025, over Purim. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord Ahiah come. I'll let you read the rest. I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video now um, so I don't overdo it. <clears throat> I've tried to be very thorough and, and very precise um, so that you understand what Father is speaking in this hour. And he brought this up to me this morning. He's reflecting back that these patterns that he's showing us right now, which I have named to you, have all fallen. Even the sign of Jonah fell on a lunar eclipse. Please hear that. Please hear that because Father is telling us to look up. The signs are all there. We are at the hour. War is at the door. We know this. I pray that this blesses you. And again, I have to emphasize only because Father is telling me to do so. Please share this. Get this out to the body of Christ so that, so that the saints are able to start observing these feasts and really starting to understand what is required of us, what pleases our Father when we do this. And it also gives us a leg up on what's to come. He's giving us not only power through knowledge, but he's giving us the, the line out, the blueprint. Thank you, Holy Spirit, again. The blueprint of what's to come. Be blessed. Be at peace. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I love you so much. Holy is Yeshaya.